All right, welcome back to my channel. So I'm getting ready to try attempt number two on starting this thing. I had a few minor issues with it on the first. I had five or six codes, nothing super crucial. I did have one where my timing was retarded. I got that fixed. It was an issue with the VCTs on the passenger side exhaust port. So I got that fixed. So hopefully everything runs well. I had to replace the fuel pump. It started surging, you know, went bad on me. And then once I replaced the fuel pump, my fuel regulator burned up because the new pump pushed too much pressure through it at first. And it was just a cheaper regulator. So I put a evil one in there, you know, a little bit higher quality. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this up, let it run for a few, run the code meter on it, and we'll go from there. like everything's running fine I have 50 plus psi oil pressure my temp gauge isn't working for some reason it could just be the lack of coolant in there because I had a coolant leak from my heater core so I changed my heater core and I haven't topped it off yet so I need to go ahead and top it off and try to run it again see if my temp gauge is working it's just staying at 104 which it might not even got to 104 degrees for it to work so I got a few more things to work on, but other than that, it seems like it's idling properly because I, before when I had that VCT issue, it struggled to idle. You know, my tack's not hooked up, but from experience, I'd say anywhere from like the 1,000 to 1,200 RPM range is where it was struggling to idle. But right here, it sounds pretty good. You know, and uh, look forward to making a few more videos of it it's getting close to being ready for the road you know i still got a whole list of things to do i need you know fix the shifter the exhaust you know i have a few other cosmetic things like the passenger you know back door i need to fix up but go ahead like follow share and i'll catch you on the next video